Not to count at all, match reaction, it has finished, South End United nil, Notts 3, I haven't been at the game today, listened to the whole thing, um, Notts fans, for a start, incredible, you could hear them throughout the game, really, really good, but make no mistake, that is a fantastic result. Yes, that was probably South End's last chance to get a playoff place, and they haven't been fantastic this season, but that's a hard place to go, and a hard place to get a result. You've got a Ruben Rodriguez hat-trick, you've got Yaros saving a penalty, you've got Digging in, determination. You know, I didn't, after the penalty, even at 2 0, you know, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I'd have been very nervous for the rest of the game. We sounded like we're in complete control, just like the Bournemouth game, where we get that hard fought victory against them. We've had to dig in, we've kept the ball in the corner, we've managed the game really, really well. It's another game we've managed well. We've now got some fantastic wins against Dagenham. Boreham Wood. We've drawn with Chesterfield when we could easily have won. Now we've got this victory today against. Um, against Southend, it is, it's all falling together, isn't it? And it just feels like now something has finally, I know we've said it so many times this season, it feels like something has finally clicked and the players have realised that they're going to have to play a certain way, they're going to have to manage games really well to get that, that victory that we just have to dig in and get. And it feels like we've finally, finally got that and it's coming at a fantastic time. I said on the Pavis perspective last night, a draw here... Um, if we were to get that, we have to go and win at Torquay. We've now got the win here. I would take a draw at Torquay, but if we got a victory there, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Going on to the game, then Ruben Rodriguez with a hat trick. You know, we don't have Cal in there. There's speculation about it and there's rumours flying around. When Ruben did get the hat trick, Cal posted on Twitter a picture. Um, I think it was of Messi with the Ballon d'Or, but he put Ruben's head on it. So that's a nice little bit of banter there and a good touch. Let's hope we see him back soon because we know how good he is. And if he's coming into this side with Ruben Rodriguez, um, doing what he's doing, then we could be very dangerous going into that playoffs. That I'm, I'm fairly confident we're going to get that playoffs now. Um, I'm sure questions are going to be asked at this point of filming that there's nothing come out. This game's literally just finished. I'm sure um, Charlie Slater will be asking about Robertson will get an answer. He did play for England C, not in the squad again today, but clearly still got that desire to play for us, putting that picture up of Ruben. Um, but a hat trick. It takes him to 17 goals. I forget how many that is away from home. It's a lot away from home. It's a lot of goals away from home. And it's something that if we've not got Wharton scoring, Wharton got an assist today, very, very good by the sounds of it. Um, but if we've not got him scoring and Ruben scoring, that's all right, as long as you've got someone banging for him. Special mention as well Kyle Cameron's out. He's out for longer than he's, he's expected to be. But I know there was a, a mistake today to give them their penalty. But all in all, off long-term injuries, not being in the squad, the fact that Lacey and Rollison have come in, made the performance and made their performances as good as they have been, working together, for me, that's another absolutely massive positive. You know, to come away from there with a clean sheet, for teams, some teams around us to lose those points, uh, Bournemouth will play later, but Chesterfield lost, last time I checked, they were losing 4-1 at home to Grimsby. We're climbing that table. We are really climbing that table now. We're gaining momentum. Four very good results. You know, we come off the back of five games without a victory. And then all of a sudden we go and get just 10 points out of 12. When in the current form you'd have been hoping we could maybe get five or six. It's really, really positive. So nothing but positivity tonight. And I cannot wait for next Saturday, the Torquay game. I think not having that Tuesday game really helped Birchner set up well. You know, he's a very good manager like that. And we just seem to have finally, finally turned that corner because not only are the results coming now, the performances are very, very good. And Charlie Slater and Mark Stallard both said on the radio at the end there, it felt like the most complete, the most dominant performance of the season. And that's the season where we've obviously hammered Barnet twice. To get that away from home, fans in fantastic voice, you know, roll on this final run in to, to hopefully secure as a playoff place in that second or third spot.